Hello everybody, Burnt Out Guy here, and welcome back to Satisfactory. In the last episode, we optimized our power. We upgraded our power infrastructure with this coal, and now we're up to 1,100 megawatts of power. And we also built this beautiful modular frame factory. The little cube thingies. <laughs> but today... Yes, today we are going to take a leap forward into the next phase of our building operation. We are getting into steel automation. That is right. We were going to take raw coal and raw iron, which is here, but we're not going to use this build. We have another little setup of iron that we are going to use to feed this monstrosity of... Well, it's just going to feed our next monstrosity. <laughs> monstrosity after monstrosity. So, ah, I've been having this issue with these stupid things. I may as well just start jumping off them all the time. <laughs> all right. So, it's a 3 to 3 ratio uh, when it comes to making steel. So, you're going to need 3 raw iron and 3 coal to do so. So, over here, I have something absolutely amazingly created and all that good stuff so um, I upgraded all these things to mark two miners um, the belt now that feeds the uh, the iron smelteries over there uh, those are all mark three belts I just did that for fun uh, even though like they're producing more than what the belt can actually handle itself right now so like I said we're always going to be limited by belt speed for a little while anyways uh, I haven't done anything with these concrete factories yet. They're still just sitting there. And same with the the copper factory over here I got going on. But I did put up two Mark II miners on these nodes. Now these are impure iron nodes. Now an impure node is half the amount of a normal node. So normally this would probably only produce like what 30 and you would get 60 out of a normal. Well, by putting a Mark II miner on it, I get 60 per minute. So this kind of transforms it into like almost a normal node with a Mark I miner on it in a sense, right? Uh, but by putting two of these together and using this one coal node that's way out yonder, uh, somewhere around here, I think. Yeah, I think somewhere around this direction. That's the one we're using. So 661 meters this way, we have another coal node. And that coal node is going to join up with this one. And we are going to make ourselves steel. So I'm going to have to build myself another highway over here and probably maybe use two trucks. Um, probably. That's probably how it's going to go. Use two trucks. Yeah, no, that's okay. I don't mind. Um, and then I'm just going to leave this one alone. I probably never will destroy this because, like, I want to take advantage of, like, every resource out there. And I know there's more coal nodes out there somewhere farther away. Uh, but that's going to be safe for trains. Uh, most of my transportation later on is all going to be trains. So, yeah, I'm going to go and get that and bring that coal back here. I'm also going to work on making the foundry set up as I have over there. So I'm going to do a coin flip toss and see which one I'm going to start building first because <laughs> they're both kind of big projects. Uh, this one being a more of a material project and the other one over there more being a tedious construction and trying to line everything up right. Uh, ordeal but I really do like this little bridge thing I built and how everything's kind of like offset and I like that I like that I don't want everything to be so cubish and the, I do have one request that I wish you know they would kind of put into the game um, angle pieces like angle um, I don't know what the hell foundations so that way you could make like s nice circles and stuff like that and all that good stuff and these ramps I wish you could actually also flip them upside down so that way you would get like the half portion like this you know um, I think that would be kind of cool too it would make bridges look a lot nicer and all that good stuff but hey who knows maybe they, they, they'll implement stuff like that later on in the game um, but that's it so I'm gonna do with my coin toss and 
see which project I'm going to tackle first. Alright, so I'm choosing to go after the coal. And I made myself a nice little highway over there to to get to the coal that we're going to. But before we go, as we all know, there's always a little bit of few baddies around that are going to sit there and protect those little nodes. So today we are going for this. The Xeno Basher. What? Uh, no, what? Oh, really? Um, um, can I just take these and throw those there? There we go. There we go. Let's make this bad boy. Ah, uh, yeah. Now I'll just pick this back up again. Um, can I? There we go. So, let's throw this thing on ourselves. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Ah, oh, so sweet. Oh, yeah. Come here, bad guys. I got something good for you. <laughs> Alright, we're nearing the end of our journey. It was quite a journey. Not that far, really, but enough that I can cut it. So now there's one of these fire spitting, breathing guys around here somewhere. I know I see them. There's a power slug over there, too. There's another one over there. There's a whole bunch of power slugs that I left behind me. Some of them are in pretty ugly biomes. Did he decide to take a f fly off or walk away somewhere? I don't know. But I know there was one here. Did he leave? No. Couldn't have left. He probably had to walk over this way somewhere. I'm going to find him because he's going to come back to haunt me if I don't catch me off guard or something. Oh, I don't see him anywhere. That's just awesome. Where the hell did he wander off to, I wonder? Huh. Interesting, interesting. I gotta be careful that I don't jump off a cliff or something. Here we go. Well, I'll may as well get you. You're pretty safe. Yoink. Perfect. Huh. Well, that's just totally awesome. Alright, I'll just go and do some building now then. We'll see if we can get a nice platform under here and see how that's going to look. Um, I think that might be too high if I put a... Yeah, it probably would be. So maybe I could use the other the other ones. Let's see here. Foundations. We'll go with the smaller ramps. I'll drop it down just a little bit. And then if we go with eight, go like that. This might be just high enough that we can get our, our miner on there. That would be pretty awesome. There we go. Let's go one more, just for looks. Oh yeah, that'll be good. That'll be really good. Oh, get on there. You're yeah, probably going to need one more. Awesome. Oh, that's, that's just sweet. That's just really sweet. Uh, let's go get our production MK2 miner. Let's uh, get this thing straight here. All right. Oh, I don't like when it does this. Do do do. Let's assign it to a button instead. Six. There we go. Excellent. So this thing is going to produce us 120 coal per minute. So all it's left to do now is to build a belt all the way back home. Uh, the only reason why I don't want to use trucks, um, I would probably need more than one truck to haul that amount of coal back and forth. Um, I haven't tested it though, because they do have quite a bit big of an inventory, the tractors. Uh, maybe once I unlock trucks, maybe they would be able to do it. One truck is probably almost double the size of the inventory, I think, on the other one. Close to that, if not a few more rows. Um... Yeah, so I'm just going to belt it back. I think it's going to be better if I do that. And then eventually I'll upgrade it to a Mach 3 belt. Uh, Mark 3. Mach 3. Mark. All right, so I'm going to go set all that up, and uh, we'll meet you up and when it's all connected and ready to go. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful sight. Conveyor belt reaching all the way back to base. The power lines are all right here. But the belt is empty. Why? Why is the belt empty? Because we just got to hook up power. Mwah. Here we go. P 
power away and now we're gonna have total awesomeness more coal coming in this is gonna be wicked our coal is gonna start getting produced oh look at that that's just friggin amazing now we can ride our coal elevator or elevator our conveyor belt back to base um, once we get back to base, well then we can hook up the iron and power the iron ones and then we'll have coal and iron on the way. So once that is complete, woohoo, then we'll get started on our steel production. So let's run on back here. Let's be faster if you run on it, but I, it's kind of fast, I guess. I don't know. I still got a few power slugs to get to. I grabbed the one that was up here, which isn't so, so bad. I get to just fly by the sneaky area. Um, other than that, there's really not much out here. I'll probably end up getting rid of these trees at one point or another. Right now, they're not disturbing my mentality very much here at the moment because I got other things I'm focused on. Uh, probably when I get some explosives, I'll I'll go do that and I'll just destroy it. So come on down here our coal will finally reach us here and then here we can connect these two guys up so I got a power pole ready for this so if I go connect that to that and this to this we'll start getting iron they are gonna merge together on one belt uh, I know it looks like a little bit of a mess down here at the moment there but we'll eventually maybe fix it up I don't know we'll see how things go um, gets a little janky here too because I have to split it off into a different uh, a different track for itself I didn't want to follow it on top of the iron node in case um, later on what I'm gonna do is probably have trains come in and deposit iron here and iron will just flow on top of this or maybe merge into that or whatever we'll see how it goes right so now our all of our iron is on the way in uh, is this a full belt now? Yes, it is. That's perfect. Our coal should be coming along just shortly. And now we can go start working on over at the uh, smelteries, or the foundries, sorry. Because yeah, that's what we need to build. Lots of foundries. So I'm going to get that all up and running. And uh, we'll do a couple cuts here and there. And yeah, everything's coming along just beautifully. Man, I can't wait. It's going to be wicked. So 19 foundries we could fit in this row. 19 foundries, each making 30 ingots a minute, comes out to 570 ingots a minute. That's pretty good. That's pretty damn good. Uh, those are probably like Mark 5 belts, I believe, that are like 500 some items a minute. Maybe Mark 4. Um, I think more Mark 5 though. Um, so yeah, so all we have to do now is connect all these little lovely splitters up to it and then do a merger system on the back, uh, throw it up onto the, the existing bus line, and off we go. Then we can start making our next factory for next next episode. Ah, oh, I can't wait. Things are coming along so nicely. Alright, now we got all 19 foundries hooked up, all the splitters placed in, all the mergers placed in, everything ready to go. All that's left to do, ladies and gentlemen, is hook up the iron and the coal and we will be making steel. Oh yeah. So let's do that right now. Let's make us some steel and watch the beauty happen. Alright, and then that way we'll be able to upgrade all of our belts all over the place, minimum to Mark III. Oh yeah, that is going to be so awesome. Now let's watch as this fills all up and steel be gets produced. That's so wicked. Ah, I'm loving this ladies and gentlemen. Automation is amazing. How could you not love automation? Ah, this is just wicked. So it's going to take a little while for the overflow to kick in. Uh, probably about a half hour, 45 minutes or so. That's probably what it similar took to this one. Uh, and then eventually we'll be able to upgrade all the belts to Mark 3. 
and it should help feed a little bit faster and better depending on the output of our steel right here so as you can see we have steel already being thrown onto the onto the belts here and accumulated then we just have to figure out uh, what bus we throw it on um, I don't know maybe we could throw it onto the first one and see how that goes or maybe throw it on top of the coal and create a second line bus going that way but it all depends on what kind of factories we're going to have going on over this way so the next factory that we have to work on is going to be the motors and that's going to be in the next episode that will probably be right next to our, our other factory we got here our modular frames the tiny cubes so yes so that's it everybody i hope you enjoyed today's video today was a very good important video and that's it peace and we'll see you next time